Hello YouTube, Spidey here, bring you another video. Oh man, this game's almost over, that's a bunch of baloney. Alright guys, let's talk about E3. E3 was yesterday, and it was pretty sweet. I've gotta admit, it was pretty freaking sweet. So yesterday, Microsoft or Xbox, whatever you'd like to call them, they did start off E3, and they had the, in my opinion, they had the best showing. It was, their press, their press conference was so much better than Sony's. Now, don't get me wrong, Sony had a really good press conference, but Xbox's Microsoft, it just, it was unbelievable. It was amazing. In the past years of E3, all they did was just show off technology. Just technology after technology. Connect, the little, the motion PS3 thing, or PS4 thing. It was, uh, it was like move or motion. It was something like that, you know, like, it was like a connect thingy. Um, uh, you know, just all these technology things that no one will use. Like, yeah, they might use it for like a year or something, and then no one used it after that, because it's not really that cool. Xbox showed off a lot of cool games and just cool, like stuff that I actually like like the games they had I really actually like them and I want to play them like Fallout 4 I loved fall the Fallout series Fallout 3 was my favorite Fallout it I think everyone who's a fan of Fallout loves that game that's their favorite Fallout even Fallout New Vegas was really good I remember running around the incinerator because it was awesome like it you just burn people I mean it sounds bad but it's fun like you're just having a great time like the giant scorpions like, honestly, you're just having a grand time. I found this next thing just to be so cool. I thought it was, like, literally one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. It was, like, holographic gaming. They showed off Minecraft. I think you can do it with any game. Like, you can put this thing on your table, all right? And then it becomes, like, holographic. And you can... All right, like I said, they, they were showing off Minecraft. The guy was throwing down lightning strikes with, uh, with Minecraft. And he... He could see the whole entire map, like he could see the um, strongholds under the map and he could see all the lava and just everything under the map. And it, I just found it so cool. It was literally one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. By the way, it was called the HoloLens. Um, you know, cool name, cool whatever. You just throw it on your table or on the floor surface of something and you can see the entire map of everything. I don't know if you can do Call of Duty with it or whatnot, but he showed off Minecraft, not sure if it's just for Minecraft, but they did at E3, they did show off just Minecraft, so take that in mind. Alright, let's go ahead and get into Sony's press conference, I didn't talk too much about Microsoft or Xbox, I mean, like I said, they just did a really good job, both companies, they did amazing, but I did prefer Xbox, but I just wanted to get like some of the cool things out there, you know, like Fallout, the HoloLens thing, I just... Honestly, you guys want me to be honest, I can't remember what Xbox did. Because <laughs> all I have in my mind is Black Ops 3 and PS4 exclusivity. Alright, so let's get into what I literally just said. PS4 exclusivity for Black Ops 3 and future Call of Duties. Yeah, yeah, Sony got it. Xbox lost. So PS4, PS3 users will get DLC and other things like the beta. They will get it first. The beta comes out in August, by the way, which is so cool, dude. I can't wait to make videos on that. You know, I'm going to buy PS4 and yeah, and then we'll get to use this beta and stuff. And it's going to just be a great time, honestly, guys. One of the most hyped up games for everybody is Sony Press Conference was Uncharted 4. It ha it's happening, guys. You know, I've never even played the Uncharted series and because it's a PS, like, Sony exclusive thing. So I've never really gotten to play it. It's like Halo. I, everyone's played Halo who has an Xbox. But if you don't have a PS3, PlayStation 4, then, you know, you can't play Uncharted. So it, it's kind of like that, the exclusivity thingy. And, you know, I think I might try the game out since I'm getting a PS4. It, it will be a cool game, maybe. Something I was so freaking excited for was Street Fighter. I don't know which Street Fighter it was. But dude, I love Street Fighter. I remember playing Street Fighter on the Atari. I literally still have my Atari. And Street Fighter was one of my top five games. That was with Donkey Kong too. I love Donkey Kong and Street Fighter. Definitely my favorite childhood games to play. From the beginning though, I was a PlayStation guy. You know, I always played PlayStation 2 until in like 2010, whenever the Xbox Slim came out, Xbox 360 Slim, I ended up buying that and I played Black Ops, bleh, Black Ops 1 on it and I just fell in love with the Xbox, you know, and then I got the Xbox One like six or seven months ago and now I'm going to have to buy a PS4 and a new scuff and just everything, man. It kind of blows. Oh, dude. And then freaking, um, I've never played this. It looks like a really cool game, even though I don't know what's going on. 
but it was the last guardian that Sony showed. It was like, it was like an albino Clifford with some little Japanese kid. It was like Avatar: The Last Am Airbender, the guy with the like green down. I just said green. I mean the guy with the blue down arrow thing on his forehead. And it was like an albino Clifford. It was so weird. I don't even know what was going on because it was like Gakuku, Gaku, and then the bird would go and follow him. And I really like this freaking loadout, dude. Holy crap! I know you guys are ecstatic for this next game, which is Final Fantasy VII. I am not a big fan whatsoever of Final Fantasy, but everyone loved that game. I don't know. My friend let me play Final Fantasy once on his 360, and I just. It wasn't a fan of it. I just didn't like it, man. It just wasn't my forte, you know what I mean? Jelly Bean. I've been talking a lot about Sony. Let's get, let's just backtrack a little bit and go back to Microsoft. All right, so they came out with this Xbox exclusive controller. It wasn't exclusive. I just said a, I meant to say Elite controller. It was cool. It was a it, it was like a off-brand version of a um, of a scuff. It was it was weird. Like it's just a remapped and like redesigned scuff. It's kind of cool. But I would never buy it. Gosh, I might buy it just to try it out. But I, I just prefer the scuff, man. The scuff is just like, it's good quality. It's a really good quality. I just don't think Microsoft is even ready for those hardcore gamers. I don't think scuff is ready for the hardcore gamers. Because everyone's paddles end up like just getting really sensitive after a month or two. On the Elite controller, the paddles were on the size of the controller instead of in the crevices of the handles on the controller. And, you know, that's cool and all. And then uh, something I thought that was kind of cool is they made it's like a really, really easy, rechangeable like pad, like you can remap the paddles really easy, and you can change your thumbsticks to dome or like concave just really quick, you know? I don't think that Elite Controller is going to get many cells just because PS4, new console, and no one really needs a Scuff 1 anymore, so. Yeah, we're all gonna get Scuff 4 PS's. Hey, you guys might be wondering where's all the Black Ops 3 news that I should be talking about. I'm gonna save it for another video, you know, why not? I should have saved it for another video. It'll be a great time. And I hope you guys are proud of me for double uploading today. This is the very, very, very first time I've ever double uploaded. First upload goes up at like 2 or something. Second one goes up at 3.30, maybe 4, somewhere around there. I don't know the schedule. If you guys did enjoy all my thoughts and information on E3, leave a like, subscribe, follow my social media, links, links will be in the description below. It's been Jalen, guys. Peace out, everybody!